Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this Olympiad mathematics. 27 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x equals 68. Okay. And um, remember that this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x equals 68. And then, according to one of the laws of indices, we can, you know, change the position of this. So we have 3 to the power x to the power of 3 then plus 3 to the power of x equals 68. And do not forget that the reason for this is for us to have the same thing, you know, in two places, 3 to the power x, 3 to the power of x. So we are going to let a letter represent 3 to the power x. So let y be equal to 3 to the power of x. And that means that we'll be having y to the power of 3 plus y to be equal to 68. And now we are looking for a way to factorize this. And for us to do that, we will look for two numbers that will be in place of y. Okay? But then, the numbers must be factors of 68. One of the numbers must be factors, or maybe both of them could even be factor of 68, but let's look at the numbers. Now, I think um, 68 has some um, 17 as a factor, right? Um, yes, it has 17 as a factor. So... I'm going to pick out 17, but then what do I take out of 17 to half 1? And it will be 17 and um, minus 16 together, right? Because 17 minus 16 is going to give us um, 1, which is a coefficient of y. And this 17 will gladly go into 68, right? So, we'll have y to the power of 3 plus 17y minus 16y. Then, I'll bring 68 to the left. It becomes minus 68. And this is equal to 0, right? Okay, if we continue with this, then y... To the power of three. Okay, I'm going to bring um I'm going to bring sixteen this way, right? So we have minus sixteen. I have to rearrange this. And then I have plus seventeen y minus sixty-eight equal to zero. Now this way I will be able to factorize this and then factorize this. Okay, so from here, we will um, have um, this together, but then y is the common factor, and then here we have y squared minus 16, put this together, and then plus here, okay, 4 is common. Um, 68, 16, how do I call it? 17 is common to this. So I'll pick 17 out. Then here, y will be left. Minus 17 into 68 will give 4, right? Close this. And this is equal to 0, right? And then, what do I do? We will work on this again. Because this will be y into y squared minus 4 squared, close this, plus 
17 into y minus 4 equal to 0. Now, what do I do from here? I can apply difference of two squares here. So, I have y, then we have y minus 4. I'm applying difference of two squares, then y plus 4. Close this, then plus 17 into y minus 4 equal to 0. And now we can factorize because we have y minus 4 over here and we have it over there. So y minus 4 is a common factor. And here I have y minus 1. Okay, so I have y into, sorry, y into y minus 4. That's what I have. Then plus what's going to be there is 17, right? 17 will be there. And then we close this and it's equal to 0. Okay, it's actually plus 4. y plus 4 is here because this has come out. So this and this will be left. Now we will open the bracket there so that y minus 4 will be here. And then here we have y times this. That will be y squared. Then plus 4y. Then plus 17. And this is equal to 0, right? And then remember that we are trying to solve it completely, bringing out all the solutions. So we will apply zero product rule. It is either y minus 4 is equal to 0 or y squared plus 4y plus 17 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is what we do. Okay, so from here, we have um, y to be equal to 4, right? Very correctly, very correct. But then, we have that y is 3 to the power of x, which is equal to 4. And now, for us to get the value of x, we'll have to apply logarithm, right? So... Let's turn over. Okay, so we have log of 3 to power x equal to 4. And then from here, we have x log 3 to be... Sorry, this is log 4 as well, right? Equal to log 4. And now from here, we can divide both sides by the log. So we have um, divide this by log 3. And divide this by log of um, 3. This will go with this. And our x will be equal to log 4 over log 3. But then, according to one of the rules of logarithm or the laws of logarithm, this is the same thing as log 4 to the base of 3. So this is the value of x. But remember, I said we want to solve this completely if it is possible. Now, I will pick out the quadratic equation from the back. Okay, so this is the quadratic equation that we, we had as the second factor there. And now, to solve this, this will give us a complex solution because the discriminant... Um, Okay, let's get the quadratic formula first. y will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. And this will be over 2a, right? Now, let's look at this to see how it will give us a complex solution. So y from here will be equal to minus 4 because b is 4, right? Then plus or minus, here we have 4 squared because b is 4, minus 4 times 1 times c, and our c is um, 
17 okay c is 17 and this will be over 2 times 1 right now if i proceed y will be equal to minus 4 plus or minus we have from um, 16 minus 4 times some um, 17 is 68 right okay so this will be over 2 now see what we do so y from here will be minus 4 plus or minus square root of negative 52 over 2 and because we are having a negative square root over there okay this will not give us a real solution so we are going to reject whatever we have from here okay or oh, let me say this is rejected right and then the only real solution to the problem is y not even y because we are looking for x is x equal to log 4 to the base of 3 thank you for watching